This is how you'll be learning in, your, in this course. You can see that some sections say web page and they have a title and they have these uh, dotted bullet points afterwards. These three items are all going to be interacting learning opportunities. And then it'll be followed by a homework. That's the way part one looks. Part two looks similar. You'll have two to three sections of learning and then it'll be followed up with a homework. I'm gonna click on the first one now, all of these sections are actually subdivided into shorter pieces of time to help you um, make, the, make learning work with your schedule. So you'll notice at the bottom, these are actually the four sections. And if I wanted to jump to like the last one, I could. I would just click on it. But since I'm at the beginning, I'm going to start at the beginning and push Start Course. And now you can see they go to the left. And again, I can still click on the left and jump to something else. You'll notice that as I scroll to the, the circular section, so let me scroll. Do you see how the circular section on the left is increasing as I scroll through the course? So you'll kind of get a sense for how close you are to being done. Um, as we notice at the top, you'll always see this learning objective section, and I'm going to pause for a minute and open up the guided notes to show you how to use the guided notes. Now, you could have printed these off, and if you like to use a lot of different colors, you could get colored pencils or highlighters if you like to do that. If not, just regular pencil paper is good. I have a digital note-taking program open. This happens to be Notability. But this kind of will help um, give a sense for how you'll take notes in either case. If you're choosing to take notes by typing into the notes using a Word document, again, you can put them side by side on your computer so that you can do that at the same time. On mine, I can, you know, scooch back and forth so that I make sure that I'm doing it all correctly. But you'll notice every single section, I can, since this is a digital, I can click on that and go to the first module or I can just scroll to it. But every section has this learning objective. So you'll notice there were two learning objectives and you can write them down. Sometimes you'll have more than two, maybe maybe you'll have four or something like that, but you can write them down. And then you'll see, welcome, we are glad you're here. It's a reference link to the textbook. And notice it says, chemistry, why are you here? And you'll notice that this says, why are you here? So the titles on the left generally match with what's in the, the blue bars every time you go through a section. And there are some instructions here. But then notice it's the same picture that comes over here. So images in this course are clickable, so you can click on things. As you work through the course, you can you know point to whatever you just clicked on and you can write your notes in about what you had just clicked on. I'm going to scroll on because I don't want to ruin the whole module for you. You'll notice that scientific method video. And in this, I'm going to go ahead and push play so that you can at least see what's going to pop up. Do you see how it's this picture right here? And you probably are guessing, you've probably heard of the scientific method. You can see there's some arrows being drawn. So there's a lot to this. You get to the end, there's a few more notes. So you can actually take notes over here or you could take notes, you know, all in here, just whatever works for you. As a little note, if you like closed captioning, you can just click on the closed captioning or click it off. If you don't like the speed, you can make it slower or faster, just like you can on YouTube. You can open it in YouTube if you want to. I just want to note that you'll probably start seeing ads and views because that's the way YouTube is. And finally, I have found that I don't always like the size of how the video looks on my screen. So if you're watching a video, you can click that little button on the right that it looks like a square that's dashed and it'll make it bigger. I always like that, especially with the math. I feel like it helps a lot to be able to see things better. And you can watch it there when you're done. This just enlarges the video. And then when you click, now you can see that it's back down to size and you can keep scrolling. Every video has a little re video review session. So just in case you're not 100% sure you got everything you should have out of the video, after you take your notes, you can compare to what you should have gotten, these little bullet points here, just to make sure you got it all. And then you have a different color. Now, these show some different examples of some of the interactive activity. The idea is that you don't want to just click through it to get the answers, but you want to think about it. This is your checkpoint before you get to the homework. Everything you do in this learning section, it, it doesn't count towards grades or anything. It's your free chance to just make sure you're getting the material. And you'll notice that this matches law theory. This is all about laws and theories. And I'm going to just click on one. And most of the time when I click on it, it'll say, you know, incorrect, take again. And so I can just keep doing it over and over. It says select all, so probably I need to select more than one thing. Also in that take again section, especially if it's math, you'll see a link that will help you uh, to get to like a video solution. 
I'm going to scroll on. Here's another type of interaction right here. Again, it's really tempting to click on that plus sign. This one has to do with these two points right here. Write it down and then click on the plus sign. And that can help you make sure you've got that material. Here are some flashcards. Sometimes they appear in a row um, and it depends on your screen size. So um, I can't get these bigger at the moment, but sometimes they appear in a row. Sometimes they are side by side, but when you, again, that's these two here, you'll write something down and then you'll click it. Hey, yeah, you got it. Sometimes there'll be pictures on the back of these. Sometimes it's just words. Sometimes there's links also. <clears throat> And then finally, you're going to see this color. So this is kind of like your more section. So there will be some sections that everyone have to spend extra time on, but then everyone is a unique individual and have unique backgrounds. So it may be that maybe one topic is just a topic that just confuses you. Well, we have some extra resources to help with that. So you don't have to search the web and try to figure out, is this a good video? Is this a good author? I don't know who teaches chemistry well, that kind of stuff. Um, you might see just a paragraph that's like, hey, here's some interesting stuff because maybe you, you're an extra person. You like all the extras. You also might see a link to the textbook. When you see a link to the textbook, make sure you read right above it. It'll have a statement in italics that tells you exactly where to go on this page because the textbook page tends to have a lot of extra information in it. So there'll be a little piece of information that tells you where to go. Now, if... I'm done with this section, I want to hit the continue button. I don't want to hit that right arrow up there. That right arrow is not going to let me go through the other three parts of this module. I need to stay in this little section and get through all of the parts. I can also know if I've got my notes up too, because you know that's the title of where I should be. So if I click continue, now you can see I'm on lesson two. It tells me about how long. I might be at this point and say, okay, I'm done. When you come back, the entire matter section will have a check mark on it just because you visited it once. The check mark's just like, hey, you visited it. it. It's not based on whether you actually completely completed it. So I always go to like the last point that has a check mark and click on that. Anyways, I just want to show you, you can move on through matter, atoms. Um, here's some more information. And I'm trying to get to one more thing. It's actually, sorry for scrolling so fast. Um, you'll see we've got different things popping up here. It's actually in the last section. Oh, here's here's an example right here. Do you see how in the italics it says, read until you see the link to learning? So that means from the top of the page until you see link to learning. And here's some extras if you want to learn about some more phases. And then I'm going to actually scroll on this one because at the bottom of this one, this is an example. Sometimes there's just like a quick statement. It's just, it's not a lot extra. It's just a statement. Now you can see that I'm done with this section. There's no more to finish with, and I'm going to use my right arrow. Now I'm on the next learning section. Maybe I'm saying, oh yeah, it looks like it's just 13 minutes. I'll go ahead and start this one. And this one, again, I'm going to scroll on past because I want to get to the very end. This one has a textbook link and it also has a playlist. So notice it, over here on the right, I'm going to kind of click on this area right here. Let's say you start listening to the first person and you're like, I don't like them. Like they don't make sense to me. Just click to someone you do like, like, oh, I love Bozeman Science. I'm going to jump to that one. Or maybe you don't know. These playlists are, have all been vetted. They're all good playlists. So just jump to somewhere in the playlist where you think you're starting to get it, and that will help. There are multiple playlists, so definitely look through these throughout the course, especially as the course goes on. Almost every section has a follow-up playlist just in case you want a little bit more information or a few more examples. So hopefully that helps you understand how to get through the material. This first section has three learning modules, and then it takes you to the homework.